set. Hi everyone, welcome to Creative Suite TV. I have a friend with me today. This is Brian Chow. How are you going, Brian? Hi, everyone. Brian is going to share with us how you can create an app using Flash CS5 and deploy it to Android on this HTC Desire, very HTC. desirable phone. Oh, it's an excellent <laughs> phone. So hopefully you enjoyed this fantastic, but a little bit unsettling episode of Creative Suite TV. It's easy, is it? Oh, extremely easy. <laughs> easy for We'll see. It's going to be easy. Enjoy the tips. So Brian, the first thing we need to do is to build an app in Flash. It's true, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. We start with Flash CS5. Yep. Yep, and I love your color mixing app. It's very good. Yeah, so it's a very simple app to show some of the interactivity inside Flash. So in this case, I have two buttons there, RGB and C CYM. Yep. Clicking on the each of the button will basically slide the movie clip to either the RGB screen or the CYM screen. And in each of the screen, RGB, for example, we have got three movie clips there, red, green, blue, that they can support drag and drop. So t this is a typical desktop applications there, but uh, when it comes to mobile application, we want to use the uh, we want to see that uh, whether the the mouse event uh, how does that translate into a touch event. So this is what this application is all about. Ah, so for a mobile app for Android, which mm -hmm. we're going to have a look at today, is there anything special that mm -hmm. that we need to understand about how that works? So. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, you know, uh, the, the beauty about if you are familiar with building Flash application, uh, uh, to move on to creating applications that runs on mobile is uh, quite straightforward. A lot of the action scripts still apply. So in this case, in, in, this case in particular, a lot of the uh, interactivity still works. So if you take a look at the action script there, so many of those would be familiar with a pure running action script. There are a few things that are new. For example, uh, in this case, I have uh, uh, because it's a mobile device, we also support gesture events as well. So in addition to mouse event or touch event, uh, in this case, I import the transform gesture event. Uh, with the gesture event, then we could do things like uh, uh, swiping a finger left and right. And in this case, uh, what it really, do, uh, what it really do does is that if it's uh, wiping the, the screen, I think, to, to the left-hand side, for example, so offset x minus one in that case i'll run the movie clip or play the timeline so in place of using the button to click to jump to or play to next uh, next frame uh, we use the gesture to to replicate that brian this uh, i don't know how to do all of this but it's very exciting i'm sure people watching oh will, the yeah. uh, the the script is fantastically simple uh really uh, all, all i'm doing really is we're just copying paste some of the sample code from the from the help menu there so uh, but uh, anyone writing action script before would have no problem uh doing it on their own well maybe we might even be able to paste some of the code somewhere so people can download it what do you think yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely yeah no yeah. problem with that yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. cool well, i'll put that on my blog and maybe on your blog too yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, very and uh, so that's the yeah. first thing that you need to do right so write the action script code there secondly you also need to do oh by the way i should also say that uh, i mentioned that we need to use the flash cs5 oh, uh, yeah. but uh you know flash cs5 uh the Android, support for Android, came out after we released the Flash CS5. So uh, anyone who wants to try it will need to go to the Adobe Labs. And at the Adobe Labs, you can download this uh, latest update, the Flash Professional Extension for Air 2.5. Uh, what this 2.5 let us do is to let us build application that runs on Android 2.2. Uh, so it's a simple a, a little extension that uh, you could just download from our website. And once you've downloaded it, uh, double click and you launch the extension manager and the extension manager will uh, therefore install the extension onto your flash cs5 so we already did that didn't we your yeah, brian yeah, helped done brian that. helped me do it it was yeah, very yeah. easy when brian was helping me do it but um so we go into labs we download we install that there mm -hmm. that's really good well we've already had a look at it running on your phone mm -hmm. but how does it get there how does it get from our laptop Mm. Onto the phone. Oh, uh, the process can't be any simpler. Okay. Uh, Should we do it? Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Why don't we yeah. do that now? Because yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've already uninstalled the application on my phone, so we could try it again, right? Oh, very so good. 
so we've now got uh, the in this case I've got the HTC Desire uh, running Android two point two. Again, you I uh, have to emphasize that uh, the support of Flash from Android has to be start from version two point two. Right. And uh, once you've got the phone with the latest uh, not uh, once you've got the phone with the Android two point two, all you need to do is to have a USB cable plug into your laptop computer, and from the USB cable, uh, once it's plugged in, you basically ask where you want to. Uh, 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 connect the phone onto the uh, onto a computer as a as a disk drive mount as a disk disk drive or yep. just as a charge only. Either case would work. So we've already done that now. Yep. Uh, all we need to do now is to go to File and Publish Settings publish just to settings. make sure that everything is all right. Okay. And uh, go to the Flash tab. And this is new. Uh, once you've got the the latest extensions there, see that the profile include Air Android, and uh, along with other things like iOS uh, or the other uh, traditional profile as well. The one we are using will be pick, uh, we'll click the Air Android and click the settings, and from then on. Pretty much, uh, you enter whatever you want. You need to enter like the application name, reference. Uh, we chose the full number. screen before, didn't we? So it yeah. could go full screen. Yeah, so you yeah. basically yeah. Uh, a lot for full screen, stretch yeah. to full screen. So that would do. Yeah. Uh, you can also. What about this icon? Yeah. So you can upload your own icons on there too. Yes, uh, because yeah. all the applications have uh, nice graphics that we represent. Uh, and if in this case I'm being lazy and right. uh, I'm just using reusing some of the <laughs> air, uh, typical air icon, but use the use whatever icon that you like. Maybe I'll make you some icons. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that would be good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the deployment, uh, let's click on the deployment side, right? Yep. So the deployment here, this is where you need a certificate. Uh, a certificate uh, for for local testing, of course, you can okay. just create your own certificate there. Uh, uh, we, ha we give you the option to create a certificate uh, for your own. You just enter your e key in your details we do you don't have to pay anyone to create uh, your own certificate you don't even need to ask permission from anyone to create they your could certificate. pay me some money though if they wanted to uh, well i'm sure you accept it's gladly a, accept it I'll gladly <laughs> accept it <laughs> but uh, yeah. otherwise you create your own one and put in your password so uh, mike you know my password already what was it again brian doop, 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 doop. right so. <laughs> you do it <laughs> right so there's my password remember. now uh, before we click okay take a look at the different options there there's the uh, we i'm going to output it for uh output directly onto the device mm -hmm. so device release yep. uh, obviously uh, we should do testing debugging but trust me this application we've tested so many times I, I so trust just, you. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, test it but uh, the beauty the, the real beauty is here uh there are two checkbox right uh and under the after publishing, yep. you could install straight from your computer onto your uh, onto your mobile phone uh, straight away. You don't even have to. Uh, the workflow is a little bit different than how we publish onto iPhone. Uh, the difference is uh, in iPhone, you create an IPA file and then you within. Uh, iTunes, then you would uh, install the applications there. Not yeah. a big deal, but here it's even simpler. You simply select the checkbox, install the application, and launch the application as well. And and that's and we it. We just hit publish. Click publish. Let's, yes. Should we press it now? Yes. Yes. Let's do that. Yeah. And so it's now going to compile the application uh, one more time in case uh, there's any errors there. Uh, otherwise, it just uh, if nothing uh, goes wrong, then it just uh, go and install it. And now it's installed on my mobile phone, right? So if and I so just, we can uh, have a play play with it. Yeah, right. So we uh, see straight away that uh, we've got this uh, uh, application launch as well, install and launch as well. And uh, so, for example, I could uh, drag and drop. And I could also uh, uh, use the gesture event. Remember, I was using the just transform the gesture, so uh, that would work as well. Fantastic! Just like that, right? Yeah, Brian, so very easy to start. You're a marvel. It all sounds so easy when oh, you show I, us. <laughs> I love the code. Uh, really, just nothing but copy and paste, which uh, I'm very good at. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us on Creative Suite TV. No worries, Mr. Brian Chow. Thank I'll you. put the address of your blog down there if people want to get in, in contact with you. No worries. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. We'll see you all next week. Great to see you signing off.